After five concussions in five years, attending school full-time is off the table for 16-year-old Holly Radburn. She's confined to her home for most of the week. I can tell some students are like, you're just being weak because they don't under because I look fine, they don't realise that I actually have something really wrong with me. Two of Holly's concussions, including her last and most severe, happened when she was playing junior football. There was times where I struggled, just got very sad down about it with months on end because it was not getting better and sometimes it was getting worse and I just saw it getting worse and I couldn't do anything. The concussion debate has never been louder at the elite level of the game. So much so, on the eve of the AFL season, the league rushed through a new injury substitution rule. It allows AFL teams to name an extra interchange player who can be sent in if another player is injured during the match. The rule is largely targeted at ensuring players with concussion don't return to the field. And I think, you know, certainly this sort of notion that you've got to play injured or you've got to play tough or you've got to play hurt, I think we need to move past that. Protocols at junior and amateur level so far remain unchanged. The AFL insists new guidelines are being worked on to protect players at the community level. But whether thinly resourced local clubs are able to adequately implement new protocols is being questioned. It's not as simple as just rolling out the same expectations for AFL or AFLW and expecting community participants, community clubs to do the same. Um, it's about understanding those clubs and what they're capable of and how we can best manage concussion in an effective way. The Brain Injury Association is adamant that continued education at all levels is key. People probably think that because they're not playing sport at that elite level that they may not actually sustain a concussion, but I would suspect that they're probably at a much higher risk of sustaining a concussion. For Holly Radburn, her days of playing contact sport are over. She won't get to benefit from new protections, but hopes they'll save others from suffering like she has. When there's a bit more level of support, it could prevent it massively, and I would really wish it would that would be the situation because it's really, it happens a lot and it's overlooked because we're just young people playing sport. Better late than never for positive change. Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.